is up wax fans it's Patricia and welcome to my vendor and retail candle wax empties for the last two months I've been working mostly on Scentsy and I've been neglecting my other stuff so that's why I'm merging them into two months but let's go over what I worked through so we'll go to candles first from Bath and Body Works I finished a pumpkin cupcake three wick this was enjoyable it performed fairly well for me I don't think I had any issues and it smells a little bit smoky here now but I like things like this because they're not overly strong and they usually blend well with other things that you're melting, so that's really nice. Let me just rewind. The notes on the pup pumpkin cupcake are whipped buttercream, Madagascar vanilla, pumpkin spice, freshly baked cupcake. All right, so it is a gentle scent, but it was nice. It performed fairly well. I would repurchase. So I also finished a three wick Main Street Bakery. This one I really enjoyed. I would repurchase this one again. The notes on this one are fresh banana, vanilla wafers, and cinnamon sugar. I didn't really get a lot of the cinnamon sugar, but I definitely got a little gentle banana bakery tone. Really nice. I enjoyed that. Would pick it up again. All right, I finished up two marshmallow fireside single wicks. So these are the older seven ounce jars. So they performed well and they have about this much wax left in the bottom of each. So the one wicks tend to hoard a little bit more wax than the, the three wicks. Yeah, and there's a little bit of smokiness. I remember this one I tried to light and the wick kind of disintegrated, so I knew it was the end. But Marshmallow Fireside is a really nice creamy scent. It complements most scents very nicely, so I tend to kind of use it as a supplement. When some scents start to die down, I might light a candle in the evening and kind of get going that way. I also finished a one wick pumpkin spice latte. So the notes on this one say pumpkin spice, fresh espresso, and whipped cream. I don't find there's a ton of coffee in this. It's more of the pumpkin spice with a little bit of creaminess. But there is coffee on cold, and you can smell it when you uh, burn it, but it's not, it's not like a boomer coffee. All right, let's talk about retail wax that I've finished. I have... I think all of them are from Sensationals. I have Very Berry Sorbet. I'm working on this today. It's part of my wax melting challenge. I picked it from the melt something from a retail store. I was gonna uh, warm the honey soaked apples, but I, I was decided to warm this instead in the kids' bedroom, so I finished that up. It's a very juicy, fruity scent. Also from Sensationals, a while ago I finished up Peach Cobbler. This was nice, I enjoy peach bakery scents, they, they really hit the spot for me. And it tends to kind of reduce some of that intense, weird peach smell for some people. I don't really get that very much, so I think I'm, I'm fortunate in that regard. From the Canadian kind of release uh, two or three years ago, I have Red and White Roll, which is a strawberry uh, cake influence type, type of scent. This was fine. Strawberry is not my favorite, but this, yeah, this was mostly strawberry and like I said, not a favorite. I probably would not repurchase, but I think I have one more to use up. And this one I really enjoyed, but it was very short lasting. It is butter tart. And this is really, really nice. So yummy and delicious, but not very long lasting, but I would purchase that again if I saw it. All right, let's talk vendor. I have from, well, we'll, we'll do bags and stuff first. I have from Ebony Violet, warm and cozy. Her wax tends to stain the warmers. This was a very bright purple color of wax. It says gourmet sugar cookies, oatmeal cookies, and Snickers coffee. There was a bit of a tone in this one that I didn't care for, so not a repurchase, but of course, performance was just fine. <laughs> this one is a, a double heart love cupcakes at Tiffany's from Ebony Violet. The notes are sweet buttery notes, of hints of coffee, toffee, excuse me, tiny hints of chocolate, which I don't really get, buttercream and vanilla cake. This reminds me of these cookies that Costco used to sell. I don't see them anymore, but they were like big, thick, white cookies and they had little score toffee bits through them, Or, but they didn't have so much chocolate. It was more like just the caramel toffee bits, so those are so good. From Harper James, I have Coffee House Cupcakes, and this was a, a large brittle, and this has notes of Coffee House, Cupcakes at Tiffany's, and Whipped Cream. Now, I thought I would have loved this, but I didn't, so unfortunately, I do really like Cupcakes at Tiffany's, but that one was just okay for me performance was about average. All right, from L3 Waxy Wonders, I have a couple items. I have mint chocolate ice cream. The mint on this, I, I'm not sure if I love her mint, so 
maybe that's why, but this one wasn't a standout for me and performance was just about average. I don't recall a ton of it, so I'm just gonna think it was about average. This I really liked, I would repurchase. It's Sweet on Paris Dope Cross Streams. Longevity is excellent with this. Throw is very good. I love it, it's really nice. A little bit of vanilla mixed in with that Sweet on Paris. All right, from Hayden Rowe, I have Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies. And this was a knot bar, I believe. This is Sweet Blackberry Jam Warm Buttery Cookies. This performed very, very well. From Sassy Girl, I have two items. I have a sample in Cranberry Sugared Cider, and this is from October of 2023. I warmed this in the kids' bathroom. I just put the whole thing in. And it, it, it almost reminds me of a variation of Sensi's. Oh my gosh, why can't I think of it? Cranberry, the brick, the one that it was um, a scent of the month and then they put it in brick. It'll probably come to me, but it reminds me of that a little bit. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, then I have Have You Met Ted from Sassy Girl Aroma. This one I remember I could smell when I got off the elevator. It says blue sugar, warm caramel, vanilla, and birthday cake. This was a strong performer and long lasting. Not a repurchase, but I was glad to have tried it. From Scoobable Tart Wax, I have Campfire Marshmallows. And this one, I think, if I'm not mistaken, Nat Natalie really likes this one. It says blend of gooey marshmallows and a hint of warm, smoky campfire. I love most marshmallow scents, and this was no exception. It was really, really nice. It wasn't overly strong, but it could be because this is from July of 2022. But yeah, I really did enjoy that one. I would consider getting it again. And the only Canadian scent that I have is from Ella After. I don't think she's pouring wax right now, but this was from November of 2022. And this is Sonia, Sweet on Paris, Cashmere Musk, and Vanilla Woods. Again, Sweet on Paris blends usually perform very well for me and they are long lasting for me. So I enjoy Sweet on Paris quite a bit. I would purchase this again if given the chance. So that's it. I'm gonna start my bin again. Hopefully you'll see me in a couple months. <laughs> I gotta get back on track with some of these things to use them up before they get too old. But thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you have a great day in your neck of the woods. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.